Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React.js tutorial. So in this video, let me explain this use effect hook and also its dependencies. Now let me go to the application. Okay, this is my application. Here already I'm using this use state hook. Here I'm going to include our use effect hook also. Okay, it's added. So it is just like a function. So let me include it. Use effect. So okay, it's fine. So basically this use effect hook is triggered if there is any state changes or else any rendering happening in our application, it will be executed automatically. So let me include one console. Let me save it. Now you can see our output. So let me refresh once again. So you can see this uh, use effect text. But the thing is it's loaded two times. One is loaded from our initial rendering of all the things. And the second one is loaded well, because in our index.js file. So we are using this strict mode, react.strict mode. So basically it will check uh, any errors or else any warnings. So that's what it's calling two times. So it's not going to create any performance issue. Why? Because uh, it's working in our uh, development mode only. Uh, if you are uh, hosting in this server, it's not going to execute anything. Okay. So now let me move on our concept. And also I have mentioned uh, it will be executed if there is any state change or else any rendering change. So let me delete this one. See now, again we are getting this text message. Now let me once again. See, we are continuously getting this use effect message, okay? So basically the use of uh, this use effect hook is for any data change, if you want to implement some functions, so this is the perfect option, okay? And the second thing is uh, use effect dependencies. So use effect dependencies is a kind of parameter. So let me include like this. Okay. So basically the use of uh, use effect dependencies are uh, it is just managing or else it's controlling the execution of use effects. Okay. So in the real time application, we may have n number of declared uh, variables. So that means the rendering happens for every data change. In some data change, we don't want to uh, execute this use effect hook. So in that situation, we can go with an dependency option. Let me explain here. So currently I'm not included anything here. So let me save it. I'm going to clear all the console. So initial time it's loaded. Okay, the use effect test is coming. I'm trying to delete this one. See the rendering has changed. That means the state value has changed, but we are not able to see this console message because it's not executed. Okay. So if I need to execute this one, I have to include this variable into our array. Now let me refresh it once again. So initial time it's loaded. Now if I'm trying to delete, see now, so it's executed continuously. Now I'm going to declare one more variable here. So the variable name is header. And the function name is head change. So it is actually an array. Then I have to use this use state hook. Okay. Here I can mention the value. The React class. Okay. So this is the initial value. Now what I'm going to do. So in this delete function, so let me command the existing code. I'm going to change this into just react. Okay. Now let me clear all the consoles. See now the initial time it's just loaded. If I'm trying to delete, nothing will happen. Okay. The same way, 
let me take this variable I am going to include in this use effect put one more console here I am going to put this header let me save it I just a refresh so you can see the initial time it's loaded now I'm going to click this delete button okay uh, the use effect is coming and this text also look like it's changed now I'm going to delete it once again so the new value is coming so when I'm clicking the second time I am trying to update this react test the same text once again I'm applying that means there is no data change so if I'm clicking many times also so this text only it's coming many times but this execution of our use effect it's not happening okay this is all about this use effect video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching